All right, let's go. Uh, Bob, Ron, DJJ. Ron, I mean, Storm, excuse me. Uh, uh, John, talk a little bit about what you guys have done this week in, uh, in, in practice to try to, to work on protection issues, because obviously that was a problem in, in the Nevada game. Um, just putting us in those exotic um, situations, you know, just getting every single look possible, not just doing it when we're feeling good, you know, at the end of practice, after a long drive, after a long series of plays, just trying to get um, the most um, game-like, I guess, we can get. Do you guys feel that this season, the way some of the games have kind of evolved, that you're so close that if you shore up a couple of things that, I mean, very close in, in all of the losses, it could have been wins. Is that something that causes you guys maybe to, to drive forward, that, that this team is pretty close to being really good? Yeah, it's just the, uh, just the little things with everybody, uh, little technique issues, little um, mental errors, just little tiny things that we got to get fixed, and um, we've been working on getting fixed. So just, again, going through every single rep of practice, trying to be um, on everything we do. And then what do you see in BYU's defensive front? They're usually big. What makes them tough and what will be the greatest challenge? Uh, they're always hard workers. Um, they want to, like us, they want to go and play against anybody, anywhere. So um, it's going to be a good challenge and um, they're going to work hard and we're going to work hard too. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Thank you. What's up, John? How's it going? You guys debuted, debuted your fourth different starting five on the offensive line um, last week. Uh, what is it like for you every week playing against a different guy next to you? I mean, is, is it tough communication-wise? Um, we practice it in um, practice situations, just switching up the groups and everything. Um, guys going all over the place just because um, UCF, we had that little injury issue. or Yeah. Um, and we had to switch up the guys, so we're getting used to it. With you being the only only starting offensive lineman that's played in the same spot in all five games, have you found yourself having to make more of those calls on, at the line during during the games? Um, it's just a little different depending on who's in, but um, we all try to communicate as much as possible, just as a whole unit, not just one person or two people. Will Farah, you've played next to him for a couple of games. What has he added to this team? Um, he's a hard worker, came from Texas, so he knows it'll be blue collar, you know. Um, hard, dirty work, um, and he wants to do whatever it takes to get the job done. And you've also got a chance to play next to Scott Matlock a couple plays this year. Uh, what's it like yeah. having him on the offensive side of the ball? Uh, it's really fun. You know, he wants to do anything to win, um, anything you ask him to do. I mean, he can make a tackle. He can block. He can go and catch a touchdown you see now. So he's a great guy to have. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, John, uh, two years ago, you guys went down to BYU, and you were undefeated, and you have a that tough, you know, three-point loss. You, you didn't have Hank that game. And then last year obviously didn't go very well in the blue. I mean, uh, how eager are you guys to get a shot at BYU? Oh, uh, we're hungry. We want to get the job done this time. And uh, we want to go down there and put in the work. And they're a great unit of guys down there at BYU. So it's going to be a good game. It's kind of the, the roles are kind of reversed from, from what it usually is. Where you guys are not ranked and they're the top 10 team and undefeated. And, and they're obviously, you know, everyone's kind of picking them to win. I mean, do you guys kind of like the – underdog rolls that chip really back on the shoulder this week no one's really thinking you guys have a chance well that's what Boise State came up as so yeah we love that we love the underdog mentality we can have and we try to bring that to every game doesn't matter if we're up or down by a lot so yeah in the running game I know we've talked a lot about it this year I know the numbers didn't show it because of the, the sacks and some of the bad snaps but do you guys feel like uh especially early in the game there were some things in the running game that, that you guys you know can hopefully build on yeah, we're getting, like earlier, getting those little bits and pieces worked out where somebody's getting the technique right here, and it's showing a little bit, so we're getting some pops and stuff. But we just can't have those plays that bite us in the butt and uh, bring the ball back several yards. I think it was, what, like 12 carries for 63 yards, you know, to start the game, and you guys were kind of getting some some push. What, what I mean, is that – I know you touched on it. Is that encouraging that, that, you know, you're seeing some signs that you can build on? Uh, of course it is, yes. But we just got to get those little things um, – the negatives worked out because that's obviously 60 yards is good, but getting a negative 20 yard play, we got to fix that and not let that. When you, when you look at the stat sheet after the game and see six sacks on your quarterback, uh, well, as an off offensive lineman, I know there's a lot of sums on the quarterback, sums on the line. You know, there's a lot of people involved, but as an O line, when you, when your quarterback gets sacked six times, how, how, how frustrating is that for you guys? Uh, it just makes us sick. Like 
uh, he shouldn't be hit that much at all, even if they're not even sacked. So just got to dial it in with communication, getting on our guys and um, technique there. And, and final one for me, you know, just the, the whole rivalry or whatever with BYU, how, how do you look at it? Because you, you have had some good games with them. It seems like a lot of the games come down to the wire. It's going to be another sellout crowd there on, on uh, Saturday that you, you've obviously been in that atmosphere before. Uh, it's always a big game when you guys play. What, what's, what's that rivalry or that game like when you match up with BYU? Um, both groups want to work, want to get the job done. Like I said, want to play anybody and um, beat anybody. So it's always a head-to-head clash up against them. And we're going to give it their our all, and they're going to give it their all, and it'll be a good game. Thanks, John. Thank you. What's up, OJ? How are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, I don't know if you even, even saw this this last weekend, but um, Leighton Vanderish and Matt Paradis played against each other in an NFL game this last weekend. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you saw the photo of them standing on the field together after the game, but as a fellow Idahoan, what goes through your mind when you see, you know, some, something like that and, and realize, like, the heights that you can climb if you kind of overcome some odds? Um, it's obviously really cool to see that just um... – Local guys from Idaho, um, both of them walk-ons, I believe, and just got their shot the next level and are tearing it up up there. So it's just great to see that, especially from Idaho guys. Yeah, I mean, does that, that does that inspire you or any of you know your other Idahoans in that locker room? Oh yeah, we all want to be our best out there on the field. Like I was talking about Scott earlier. Like I said, he's caught a touchdown now. He's making blocks in the O line for a couple of plays, and obviously on defense, you know how that is. So um, yeah, it's really motivating to us. Um, speaking of motivation, uh, how, how could you best recap uh, Hank's speech to you guys prior to practice today? Uh, <laughs> I like his speeches. They're uh, right on point, right what you need to hear, and get your energy up. Yeah, how, uh, how much do you feel his passion? Uh, you feel it in every play he does. You can look back at him when you're on the line ready to snap the ball, and you know that he's intense and ready to go. Um. What's it like? I, mean, I know you've lined up next to a couple of different left guards this year, but every time we, we ask one of you guys about Jake Stetz, you know, he's obviously a special dude. So, what, what, you know, what was it like lining up next to Jake Stetz this week? Uh, you just feel a lot more confident in what you can do because you know he's going to get his job. So, you get your job, it's going to be good on the left side at least. Yeah, uh, how, anywhere on the line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How, how strong do you guys feel when you have, you know, both you and him on the left side over there? Um, we got to play some games together back when, um, I was a sophomore, he was a little older, but so we've played next to each other for a while and we're roommates along with Dante Harrington too. So playing next to any of those two is comforting. I guess it gives you a little more confidence. Do do, do you notice anything like a little bit different when you do line up next to Jake? I know you said that you you complimented him, but do, do you notice anything a little different when Jake's right next to you? Uh, he'll make some crazy athletic plays every once in a while. You'll see him go out there and just do something insane to like the next level or helping you out on your double team, something like that. Yeah. Uh, one final one. I um, can't remember who it was. Uh, we'll ask this question, but it was, it was somebody's response to you about you. And they said that basically if all the other offensive linemen do what you do, then you guys will have a lot of success. So what, what, what is it that you feel like you do well or, or try to pass on to your, your fellow offensive linemen? Um, just honestly, every single play, just trying to give it my all. Um, you don't know if it's going to be the last play you ever do. So might as well um, give it everything you've got and do the best you can. OJ, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Let's go to Will to wrap it up. I think I'm good. I got to talk with OJ last week. Okay, we're awesome. All right, John, appreciate you taking the time to get here early. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.